Hi everyone! <laughs> My name is Daria Driver and I'm a senior community manager here at Raw Fury. You can see me now joined <laughs> right now by my colleague Pontus, but also our very special guest today, who is our office dog, Ponyo. I'll try to get her on camera, but I'm not sure if it's gonna work. No, it's not gonna work. That's fine. Very treat Today driven. she's not in the mood, but I still have my friend Moomin Troll with me, as I usually have on my streams. Ponyo, are you sure you don't want to be on the stream? You seem very interested. And do you know why she's interested? Because they have this. <laughs> and if you have a dog, you know what that is. There you go. There you go. Can I? All right. No, she really doesn't want that. And she's a huge bear looking like dog. <laughs> All right. So Pontus, uh, Pontus is a brand manager here at Trofury, and he is the main brand manager on the project of Snufkin Melody and Moving Valley. Sorry. So how are you doing today, Pontus? Are you excited? Uh, I'm almost shaking of excitement since we yeah. have been working with this game for so long, and it's been in development for like. Four Four years, over four years, I think, oh at this point. Oh my god, that's crazy. Can you imagine this amount of time when you're working on the same game every day for four years? That's insane. And I mean, we are so excited yeah. for everyone that has been part of the journey. And we have had a few that has been part from the start. So I'm like extremely excited to be able to share the game finally. Guys, I can't even imagine, like, I can't even believe that it's finally out. For you guys who were following me on the streams of Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley so far, you know how excited I am. You know how much I can't believe that the game is finally coming out. And it's, it's just crazy to finally, like, all of you, first of all, thank you so much for your cozy and wholesome messages to us. We all always check what the community says and it always matters so much for us for when you post your positive feedback and like I'm just so excited that you guys you were always supporting us on this whole journey and now you get to actually play it yourself and like I can't I can't believe how it's going to be for you and like I just can't wait to see your reactions on the game as well um, so without further ado, how about we just start? What do you think? How about we play a little bit of I'm Snufkin? Gonna play melody. a little bit of Snufkin, maybe a little bit. <laughs> yeah. All right. Would you like to volunteer? Okay, I'm gonna. Right, I'm gonna. It. I'm gonna start. I'm let's gonna start. do it. And I'll. I'll try. I'll try really hard because you guys. You know, you. You don't look. You don't mm -hmm, look. Mm -hmm, guys, mm -hmm. you see what I have here? Mm -hmm. 
You see what I have here? But don't tell him. Don't tell him. <laughs> it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> oh, I, I love this scene so much. It's just so cute. Like... Yeah. Wouldn't you want someone to look at you this way? <laughs> you know? Absolutely. I mean, at this point, I mean, the fact that, you know, even outdoors right now and everything is turning from like winter towards like spring, oh, yeah. this starts resonating quite a lot. Like yeah. right? everything has been kind of like leading up to this moment. That is so true. And you know, Snufkin comes back to Moomin Valley every spring. And this is exactly the situation we are in right now. It's the beginning of March. And I can't believe how much the game aligns perfectly with this time. Like, who would have thought? Tell me it wasn't intentional. Or was it? <laughs> <laughs> it kind of feels intentional, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it sure does. It sure does. But it's fun because, like, you know, you look outside and you see March and you also play the game and you also see March. So yeah. it's a nice combination for sure. It's it's a bit of a shame that Ponya didn't get into the camera, but you guys can imagine a giant fluffy dog. <laughs> I'm just too small <laughs> to actually bring her up, I'm sorry. <laughs> but maybe next time. At least I have the Moomin troll with me. I know you guys really like him, and of course I couldn't help but bring him on this wonderful release stream, so we are really excited. So, I mean, it's been so many things we have been doing up until this point. I mean, some of the stuff that I really remember vividly is back in maybe a year or so ago where we started talking a lot about the heritage of Moomin. Oh, and we right. participated in Wholesome Direct, right? Yeah, 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 I remember that. We also had the video about how the game uh, was based on the stories from Tuvi Janssen. And that was a lovely short video kind of showing Tuvi Janssen and the books in the stories that I have with me, by the way. So for you guys who are unfamiliar with the Moomin franchise, uh, the game is actually based on the stories from uh, from the works by Tuvi Janssen. So I have Comet and Moominland here with me and also the first book which is The Moomins and the Great Flood. So if you if you become interested in the world of Moomin, these are great books to start with. And if you played or going to play Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley, yeah. you will find a lot of references from these books in the game yeah, because yeah. we tie a lot of them into the game. The game itself has an original story, yeah. but there is a lot of references to the books. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because uh, in our game, we have, in case you guys still haven't seen, but we have over 50 different creatures, critters, and characters and inhabitants of Moomin Valley. And all of them come from the original stories by Tuve Janssen. So, as Ponsos mentioned, um, the, the story itself is original, but the characters, of course, uh, we really wanted to make the game uh, in line with the heritage of the Moomins and Tuve Janssen, so we tried our best to integrate the characters uh, into the game. I'm just stopping here a little <laughs> bit. This is one of my favorite first lookout spots, yeah. because... For you who are familiar with Moomin and Tove Johnson's artwork, this sun and everything around it yeah. is quite typically yeah. what she was making and the stuff that she was doing. And it's just a testament of how much we are, when we worked with this game, to yeah. make those stories kind of come alive, like a storybook come to life. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And it's actually interesting that today is one of the first sunny days that we had in Swe in Stockholm specifically. And this is exactly how it felt, you know? It's not super bright, it, but it's there and you can already see it. Let's see, we are meeting our first yeah. little one. First creature. Kind of an interesting, strange one. Yeah, I'm not sure who that is. Yeah. Who could that be? <laughs> also, uh, Eve700 uh, in the chat. Don't worry, you didn't miss much. For the first 10 minutes, we were trying to get Dog into the camera. <laughs> But we failed. Uh, at least we have the movement troll with me and Pontus. <laughs> so you didn't miss too much. Don't worry about it. We just started the game. 
I think what I really enjoy, and I don't know how many people in the chat yeah. are from kind of like Europe or Northern Europe, yeah. but a lot of the things that you see, especially in this early place in the game yeah. is a lot of inspired by kind of the Nordic landscape and yeah. how it looks. So this is this is quite how it looks in general when kind of winter turns into spring. Yeah, that's right. And I think um, that also comes from the inspiration of Tuve Janssen because she lived in the environment that had very harsh Finnish Swedish weather uh, and she always tried to integrate that weather into her stories and if you actually read her stories you will notice that um, the characters there they like one of the major well not antagonists but the influencers on the story is the weather itself like uh, even like like I showed you the first book is the Moomins and the Great Flood uh, and the flood plays one of the most prominent roles in the book. So it's it's crazy how sometimes the simplest things that we have every day, such as the nature, actually influences uh, our perception and our inspiration, especially it come, when it comes to the creative work, such as the stories or the games in this case. Well, yeah. And in case you guys haven't noticed, uh, Snufkin in this version of the game also has wonderful flowers on the head, almost as wonderful as the feather on the Pontus's head, <laughs> uh, as well as the wooden mouth piece. Uh, where do they come from, Pontus? So they come from the cosmetic pack that you can pick up. It's called Cherished Keepsakes. Oh, that's right. And I think long-term fans yeah. of Snufkin yeah. We'll see where we got our inspiration from. Yeah, so it will be recognizable for them. Oh, I see. For sure. So you see, guys, it's not just a pretty cosmetic DLC. It also has some meaning to it. So if you're familiar with the world of Moomin, it would be something special for you, for sure. And obviously, it it adds kind of like another layer. So even if you haven't uh, been part or has a lot of like... Um, previous knowledge or experience with the Moomins, then yeah. it adds it adds a little bit on top as well. Yeah, definitely. And I can tell. Like, it's the mood, you know, when you, when the spring just comes in and you see the first flowers starting to appear and then you have this wonderful thing on your head. Oh, that's so pretty. I almost want one myself right now. <laughs> I'm a little yeah. bit curious to yeah. some of you who are watching this live, like, do you have like a memory of like when you started like following along what we were doing and yeah. like the progression and development of the game? Because I mean, for us, this has been like an anticipated yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of for timing. Sure. And, and like, how, how are the rest of you kind of feeling around that? Yeah, I think that's a great question. Let us know in the comments, guys, because we know that some of you have been here for years and some of you joined just recently, but both experiences are super interesting because they're very different. And we are curious to see just what, what it was like for you. Let's see if we can open up the quest log here. So we're trying to reunite with a friend yeah. and every spring, Snuff King comes back, uh, and he wants to visit his best friend, Moomin Troll. Oh, that's right, because this time we are looking for our friend. As, is, as the spring arrives and all. Well, luckily we have our own Moomin Troll with us here, but I guess Snuff King isn't that lucky at this point of the game, at least. But we will see how that develops. Who knows who we are going to encounter. I know, I'm so excited. I just know there are so many characters. Do you have, like, a favorite Moomin character? Mm, that one is hard. Yeah, it's really hard, because each character in the Moomin world has kind of their own set traits yeah. and different personalities and you can kind of relate to every one of them yeah. but maybe not all at once yeah i understand they kind of project different types of characters and personalities in in themselves yeah so you tend to like a few i guess but is there one that you associate yourself with the most <laughs> mm, oh, that's that's super hard i mean yeah. 
I'm really inspired by Moomin Papa oh, trying to put his great work together. Yeah. And he always tries to figure out solutions to everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of nice. True. That's true. And knowing Pontus, I can confirm that he's always trying to so find solutions for everything. <laughs> and you're quite good in this as well. So that's a lot, just like Moomin Papa. <laughs> and Moomin Papa is also famous for having a lot of stories and generally being quite a gentleman and trying to help everyone. So he's a really wholesome character uh, to meet in the game. Yeah. And here we have Muskrat, and this is actually one of my char favorite characters as well. So like, if you don't uh, skip right now, uh, guys, um, what do you think is the correct answer here? Do you track the source of an issue first, uh, back to the source, or do you think you follow uh, the issue itself. So here, in this case, Muskrat is talking about a leak, for example. Uh, if you want to fix it, do you track the leak or do you track the source of the leak? And, and they, we, we yeah. could kind of see uh, a few of the inhabitants of the valley just run past yeah. us. So we're trying to figure out why were they running? Yeah, something, maybe something happened. I maybe something has happened. Is every time, every time I... Um, I play this specific part of the game. As if you guys have seen me in the previous streams, you know that I get scared. <laughs> because, I mean, you enter this peaceful field, this peaceful valley, and suddenly there are characters running towards you, and I'm like, oh, this everything is so nice. There are bushes and flowers, and um, then there are characters just running at you. And I'm like, yeah. oh. <laughs> Why and somet and sometimes you're kind of scared of the characters running towards you. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Especially when you don't expect that. Yeah. All right, I think we could uh, continue. Let's see if we can yeah. move on. Let's try to move. <sighs> yeah, so here we got the answer. Go to where they came from. So one of the parts that, uh, or rather aspects that I like about this game a lot is that like it's really suitable for both children and adults. And I think um, that specifically for reasons like this, that you have the characters that for the children, it looks like they are saying like some very interesting, some new things, something exciting. But for the adults, there is always like this uh, second deeper meaning. And that's why if you are playing with children, for example, this game will also be most likely interesting to you. <laughs> I mean, there is a there is a few kind of moments where you have to figure out what to do next. And this is yeah. one of those. So we got a little bit of a tip there. Um, yes. Yeah, we should probably pick up these rocks over here and help us come across the, the water. You will find yourself in a, in a little bit of a tricky position at times. Yeah. But I think we got it here. Yeah, so sometimes you have to traverse the terrain as well. Alright. Oh, look at that. Going behind the waterfall. Yeah, that's nice. Sometimes I just run through bushes because I just like <laughs> Yeah, I mean, looks. they're jiggling as well. <laughs> they're jiggling when you run through them. It's so satisfying. Yeah, it's <laughs> and really all the small leaves that just pops up. Yeah. <laughs> Makes you kind of happy every time. Oh, yeah, like it's see. just this, you know, this almost like childish, very simple happiness. We don't get to experience that that often. I also have, uh, like, we are ourselves, to be honest, such huge fans <laughs> of movie. I guess you guys kind of can tell, like, I have a t-shirt, yeah, Pontus yeah, yeah, yeah. has also uh, a shirt. But we also have, like, I have my snuffkin here on the mug. <laughs> so it's just like snuffkin all the way, <laughs> if I could say that. Everywhere right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Now we're so excited, and we are so excited that when we when we worked with this game, we got to also be part of kind of fleshing out the behavior and the character that is Snufkin. Yeah. So for for long term fans as well, they're going to find a lot of like a new things and interactions yeah, that yeah, yeah. that Snufkin does. Yeah, definitely. And the game, I think, is kind of unfolds. Uh, as well as you progress, so you will discover different game mechanics, you will discover different items and quests. So there is a lot to discover. Uh, I mean, Snufkin is a wanderer and a traveler, right? So it's only in his nature to continue dis the discovery. Um, RF Viron in the chat says that this stream is like ASMR. You're welcome. 
<laughs> we are doing our best. <laughs> yeah. We're just trying to find our way back. And we early. and we haven't even gone to the music part yet, so soon. TM. Soon. <laughs> soon. Yeah. Well, look at this. This small creature here is Oh, he's bringing yeah. up a really good point. Up until this point, one of the signi signature traits or the signature things that Snufkin has and brings with him everywhere is his uh, harmonica. Oh, well, that's right. If you see Snufkin in other, um, like in the stories, for example, or pictures, Snufkin is quite always depicted with a harmonica as well. It's like a traveler's instrument almost. And you could hear a bit of that if you watched the release trailer. Oh, that's right. Have you seen the release trailer yet? Uh, wait for a little bit more because we're still streaming <laughs> and then watch the release trailer. <laughs> I really like this character, the sea monster. Like yeah. this moustache is just like, it makes me want to touch it every time. <laughs> <laughs> but also so that he he just want to sing along. Yeah, exactly. So you, yeah. you're going to encounter a lot of like mm -hmm. friends that you're going to interact. Yeah. Because one of the main things to do here is to try to not only get inspired yourself. Yeah. And one of the ways you can see that on the screen is up to the top left. Yeah. But like here, you want to. We were going to try to interact with this little uh, creature here, but it doesn't really get us, I, I think. No, not yet at least. But we don't know what the future holds in this mm -hmm. game, you know? I think we I think we got a clue here. We're not inspired enough. Mm. Well, we are. <laughs> we are very inspired. <laughs> we are very inspired. inspired. <laughs> yeah. I think one of the one of the big things leading up here is to mm. be able to showcase all of these aspects of yeah. the game throughout you know these years we have been working on it yeah yeah definitely and there is quite a few of them as well and uh, according to Ari who is the CEO of Hyper Games the developers of, of Snufkin Melody and Women Whaley um, like there has been so many stories that they went through to make sure that the game looks authentic and like I mentioned before for example with the characters as well uh, that they they really want the, the Moomin fans to play the game inside out because they will find really small things that might actual that they might actually recognize um, and hopefully inspire other people who are not that familiar with Moomin to perhaps uh, discover some more. So that's a possibility as well. <laughs> oh, look at this! We're running through more bushes. That's nice. so nice. Jiggly bushes. <laughs> They're wiggling around. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love when this small creature is smiling. It's so cute. Yeah, it's so... Yeah. Let's see. Here we see another game mechanic that is inherent to the game. So you are able to actually interact with a lot of creatures so they don't just appear for the story, for example, although that happens sometimes too. But some, quite often you are also able to interact with them via, for example, your musical instruments. And here we can see a crow helping us with getting inspirations at the bushes that are too far to reach. Yeah. <laughs> Yet. And I mean, there are multiple ways to help your friends. I mean, when you play the game, you're going to find out that there's a bunch of ways to gain more inspiration based on a few different ways to help them out. Yeah. Oh, look at that. We level up. Yay, we leveled up. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Nice. All right, so let's see. There are a few more bushes, and you know I yeah. like them. <laughs> Like in the game, you will also see that there is quite a few puzzles. They're not super hard, so don't worry about it. They're mostly for you to enjoy. Uh, and um, yeah, so one of some of them involve actually interacting with an object as well. So it's not just the characters that you will have a chance to interact in any way. It's also the objects and some terrains as well. So. That's quite exciting. Let's see. It looks like we have gained a level, so we should. Yes. Should be just enough. Yes, ma'am. Yay! What I really enjoy <laughs> is how much this little creep here enjoys yeah. the music. Yeah, it's just listening super carefully. Yeah. And I like the red head. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's hard to miss them. I mean, look at how it runs. Yeah. It's so cute. It just follows. 
<laughs> and like it's it's kind of funny that you just start the game but you already have some friends or like creatures to help you out that's and this is i think like this game we generally said quite many times that it's quite wholesome but it's the moments like this that make you really see how wholesome it is um that no matter who you meet on your way sometimes they can help you out sometimes you can help them out and this is a very community like cozy feeling it sure is yeah this is a little bit nerdy okay but this is my favorite tree <laughs> That is very nerdy. <laughs> it is very nerdy. <laughs> and why is this your favorite tree? Because if you look at it, yeah. it kind of behaves and looks a lot like, you know, that feeling that you get when you're looking at a tree, but in real like it looks a little bit alive because yeah. all the leaves are kind of working independently. Yeah, I mean, that's when the breeze kind of moves around exactly. the uh the leaves. I see what you mean. Yeah. I mean, it looks quite realistic. And um actually that's one of the ways of how you guys can play this game which is to pause sometimes and just to look at the details that are present on your screen because if you look closely you will see that the colors change the animations change a little bit like all those tiny details that the developers put in the game you can really see that the developers really really loved what they were looking working on because there is just so much detail and so much love put into this and i think that is a very good point one of the big kind of feats in the development here was the amount of time that we spent on working with um kind of the representation of the art and there is so much work yeah. going into all the texturing and all the processing of everything you see right now in front of you yeah has this storybook feel to it yeah 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 but it was also important to kind of make make this come alive even more so compared to a storybook that is just yeah. flat Obviously we can move up and down. Yeah. You cannot do that in a in a flat storybook. So this game is like a flat but yet a Not deep quite. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is like a deeper level to it and I feel like it's more immersive because you feel like you have control as well of what is going on. So that's a more in-depth uh in-depth impression of it, I believe. I think one of the the really interesting stuff mm -hmm. has been for us who who have been working with this for so long is also the amount of things when we have shared it it has changed yeah. a lot yeah definitely so a lot of you who might have been here from the start have seen a lot of maybe places and things in a certain way that has changed a lot and yeah, that's yeah. natural in game development that it changes but also in in some of like the style how it all ties together now in the release how it all just fits like i don't know but just yeah. look at this waterfall it all kind of makes sense when it's put together you know guys it's just it feels to me at least that it's one of those occasions when you put parts together and together they make more than what they are on their own and once again thanks so much to the developers for this outstanding outstanding project yeah. honestly now is is one of the absolutely most awesome interactions i think of some of the characters in the game let me guess it's going to be pulling rocks <laughs> it's not going to be pulling rocks no oh, i lost no. and i think this is an excellent for you who are new who haven't played uh, the game or seen anything from the game i think this is a really good kind of example of like how the characters in the moomin world are interacting and how they are complementing each other but also yeah. how they are different yeah 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 that's right because they are quite distinctive from one another right absolutely and this is sniff poor sniff he's oh. always in trouble <laughs> this wasn't in the demo by the way because I have played demo quite a few times, but I haven't played the uh -huh. this this specific spot because uh -huh. it wasn't in the demo. I'm so excited to finally see. <laughs> <laughs> right. But we find Sniff is kind of in trouble here. 
There's some kind of monster. Mm, let's see. <laughs> we have this spider who's like, where is the monster? <laughs> and then spider. Yeah, I'm terrified of spider. The spider. <laughs> Maybe you are the monsters here. And this spider, I mean, is he right though? Yeah, that's what I meant, right? There is like a second meaning to almost everything in this game, to every character. But I think we gotta help Sniff. He's mm. one of our oldest friends, so let's see if we can find a way to kind of like... Is there anything over here? I mean, we have more, more bushes. Like, in the game we are meeting Sniff for the first time, but canonically speaking, yes, he's one of the best friends. And he's always in trouble. <laughs> always, always. So maybe we can make the spider move. I think we can try. I have never actually done this quest before. <laughs> I really want to see how it yeah. turns out. Okay, so we're asking the spider to move. Uh-huh. Ah. Mm. ah, the spider Good really damage. enjoys their spell. Oh no. Mm. What are the options? <laughs> Try scaring him. <laughs> Can you scare a spider? <laughs> I should try that at home. <laughs> well, <laughs> Maybe it's we'll see. Work. This is a non-scared spider right <laughs> here. <laughs> Not even birds. I've said too much. Oh, hmm. hmm. I wonder. <gasps> How did you do that so oh, fast? Did that, you guys see that? <laughs> that was this, so fast. <laughs> this guy is a pro. Like <laughs> he hides it, but apparently he is. <laughs> oh, we finally. Um, boy, Sniff. Yeah, <laughs> Enjoy your adventure. <laughs> finally managed to to save him. Yeah. Oh, that's good. But I mean, I'm f I'm feeling a little bit bad. I mean, yeah. the spider didn't actually do anything not really into music but what if snuff can play for him or could play for him please i was here first he's not or they are not wrong <laughs> yeah they're not wrong i'm so sorry spider i've never felt bad for a spider look guys what this game makes you to feel right because uh, you become warm even towards a spider that, in my case, for example, I've been terrified of all my life. <laughs> no, I think there's a real possibility nothing could ever make, make me, me happy, happy again. again. No. <laughs> what have we done? That's unfortunate. Oh. Not even a butterfly. Sweet, delicious. <clears throat> <laughs> That's the cuisine yeah. I have not tried. Mm -hmm. Cannot confirm or deny. Well, it's a spider after all. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, I guess we can mm. we can walk over here. Hmm. What do we have over oh, here? We have, a sp we have a butterfly. We have a butterfly. <gasps> Are we gonna sacrifice the butterfly? I'm, I mean... I mean... We did hurt the spider quite a lot. Um, Let's see how that goes. And they didn't do anything to us. So maybe... Oh, we got an achievement, I think. Yeah. I don't feel sorry for upsetting you. And the butterfly is just flying around him. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> we both stepped out of line. You the most by far. <laughs> oh, he's so sassy. Such a oh, sassy spider. It's a sassy spider. Uh, Turns out. That you're forgiven. Leave me to my butterfly. I hope they're going to play and have a good time together. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> But, right? <laughs> but the good thing, the good thing about all of this is that, well, technically, we helped another one of the inhabitants in the Moomin Valley, so we gained a little bit more of inspiration. Mm, that's right. So when you help, you get more inspiration, right? Mm -hmm. mm. So that's something to note as well. Let's see what we have on here. We have another tree in here. I wonder what's on the top of it. Oh, there's just another bird. There's another bird up here. Let's see. No sassy spiders. No sassy spiders. This time <laughs> Those around. eyes were so cute. Yeah. Though. This is just a happy, happy bird. You're just welcome. Just wanted bird. to be played for. Mm -hmm. We're just playing for you. Yeah. Hope you enjoy our music. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Do we have any more questions? 
Um, I see some people are saying so DFA Stamiruk, I believe. Forgive me if my pronunciation is incorrect. Can you both narrate all the live game broadcasts <laughs> for all games, please? Um, I don't know. What do you think, Pontus? <laughs> I don't think so, but we'll think about it. Maybe we'll not at the it. moment because we are focused on Snufkin, but who knows? Who knows? Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. I'm really wondering what we are going to see next because for to me it already feels very very different from the demo experience in terms of like for example how long the forest is and forest is one of my favorite locations not just in the game but generally um, in life you know sometimes especially here in Sweden mm -hmm. like you walk and you can actually see very similar views to what you see in the game it's a lot of flowers trees and peculiar creatures mm -hmm. but no sassy spiders Maybe I just never noticed them. <laughs> Maybe they've been all how, around you all this time. I don't time. know how I feel about yeah. <laughs> And move in troll protect me, <laughs> And he has a so tiny have, tail as well. What can this be? I think this is like an animal. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's oh. quite giant. But we can play for them and then they, they will move well, away. Well, they just go home. That's yeah. nice. So we don't really disturb anyone. No. And I think that's one of the major uh, messages of the game as well, that you can live in perfect balance with the nature um, and really respect the creatures that inhibit it as well. And I think you can really feel this in the game, because no matter what kind of creature you encounter, as you could just see with the spider, for example. Look at this, this little one here. Is, oh, he's hiding. He's hiding. He's hiding. But he enjoys the music. Yeah, for sure. I don't know why he's hiding. Maybe he has some more Maybe friends. Maybe he's just shy. Maybe. Like Maybe. like the nameless creature. Maybe. Let's see. But yeah. <gasps> Did you see? <laughs> he just jumped and said, ta da. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> no, I can't do it this yeah. way. Actually, guys, in case you didn't know, all the characters, uh, like, whenever you hear the sounds in the game, um, those characters were voiced by the members of the Hyper Games, the developer team. <laughs> and uh, we heard quite a few stories from them, for example, that um, now, like, whenever they encounter in the office the guy who uh, voiced the nameless creature, uh, they cannot, like, unsee the nameless creature from the person. <laughs> like, imagine you're in the kitchen and you're surrounded by the movie. <laughs> <laughs> characters. That would be almost like a dream, to be honest. Did you see the small arms? <laughs> <laughs> they just want to help. Yeah. And it's so nice that they just want to help us to <laughs> kind of find our way back. Because we are we are in an area called the Wild Country. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And it's right. kind of the, 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 the similar thing. It's kind of similar in Swedish, actually. Yeah. Um, when you when you think about it, like like a rough wilderness. Yeah. Is is called the same. So that's why that's why you're running around here. Like it's the it's the area before you kind of get more into. Yeah. The kind of the core of the valley and where everyone lives. That's true. So you have to discover Moomin Valley mm. first. You go through this wild country through all the creatures and everything, trying to find the residents of the Moomin Valley. Absolutely. Let's see here. What have we done so, so oh, we far? we saved Sniff. Yeah, so far. What have we not done yet? We're looking for Moomin still and the yeah. nameless creature. All right. Good to remember. So in case... You guys feel like you don't know exactly what to do. There is always this quest log that can really help you to remember what kind of quests are lined up for you right now. But what is this? I don't know. What does why, it? What why is, is it, there a sign here? What does it even show? Like no hats? No hats. Remove your hat. <laughs> oh no. I think for you who know, this looks very much like a tent, and maybe you're not allowed to tent. You cannot tend. Out in the That's wild? That's unfortunate. How can you not do that? Yeah, I think That's... the camping is kind of like... I, yeah, no. No, let's... No, let's, let's like just that. remove yeah, it. No, remove that, that doesn't feel right doesn't at all. Sense. No, absolutely. 
I mean, when you go to nature and like provided that you really take care of the spot in the nature that you pick for your tent, like it's a wonderful experience. You get to enjoy the animals and the the plants, the trees, um, and they in a way get to get acquainted with you as well. Yeah, absolutely. So you cannot forbid that. I'm against that. And I think like being out in the wild is really, really nice. Yeah. And and just exploring. Wait, hold on. No apples. Even more science? They're not supposed to be here. How can you forbid apples? <laughs> that's a little bit silly. No, that's very silly. I cannot uh, imagine my life. You know, an apple a day keeps, you know, yeah, the exactly. doctor away. <laughs> exactly. It's a, really, it's a really nice snack. Yeah, it is for sure. All right. And so you... something is going on here because we... Wait, what? What is, is that a banner in the forest? looks like a billboard yeah something is terribly wrong yeah and for you who know anything about moving about there's usually no billboards no no signs either what is this this looks very weird no unless what was that sign on the billboard anyway no boot (laughs) yeah you're not allowed to walk there oh i see what that means oh my god what is going on no way oh no way Oh, guys, you can see the tiny moving house in the distance. That's the moving valley. I like the tiny uh, nameless creature in the Mm. bottom. (laughs) That's funny. Ooh, so we completed the first part Mm -hmm. of the game. Would you like me to continue? Absolutely, if you want to. Would you like to hold the moving? I can hold moving. (laughs) Absolutely. Now you guys are two together. All right, let me try. Uh, Let's see how that goes. Mm. All right, no, no hands, no touching. What does that even mean? No touching, I guess, but like, that's the whole point of being in nature. You're experiencing it in multiple ways. No campfires. Hmm. I do not approve that. Again, apples. Like, it seems like there are so many signs of no apples that... (laughs) I, I know we are talking a lot right now, but I just yeah. want everyone to kind of listen to what happened to the music because we encountered some weird out of place things oh, and the music right. change. That's right. Uh, I actually haven't noticed that, so thanks for pointing the attention at that. But also for you guys to know, uh, we are playing with the creator mode on. So if you're a creator, please make sure you enable it in settings as well to make sure that you don't get any license strikes or anything like that. (gasps) There is a cut down tree! That is weird. What's that over there? Like, Snuff can literally read our thoughts. What? 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 I mean, he's so cute, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're doing very important work here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what could that be? Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Remind me what my job was. It must be extremely important work. I mm-hmm. so. You need to uphold the rules 24-7. How can you uphold the rule of no apples for 24-7? <laughs> Oh, no walking. Oh, no camping. Yeah. Yeah, they have a... They're building the valley of the future here. Oh. Maybe that's not what we want. No. And the inhabitants of the Moomin Valley as well. But what about the bathroom breaks? Hello? (laughs) (laughs) That character feels very realistic. (laughs) But I do feel like, even in real life, like, I do feel sad when I see trees that were cut down. Yeah. Especially when they're like this thick, and I don't know if you guys know, but all the rounds inside the tree is actually like they grow by one each year. So you can see how long the tree was there, and then it was just cut down. That's just terrible. Oh, he was fast. I'm off on uh, business. Very, very Ah, important business. Mm. See why he was asking for other Mm. stuff before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Business trip, if I may. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bye. (laughs) Well, let's let's seize the opportunity. Remove all three signs to get rid of the police officer. Okay. This makes me so mad. I can (sighs) really... It's just like I said with those cut down trees. It makes me so mad. And for you who know Snufkin... Yeah. 
He is this vagabond wanderer and he thinks a lot and he doesn't take a lot of like possessions with him. Yeah. Um, because he is very much in kind of like this thinking a lot about nature. Yeah, he's like a wanderer and mm -hmm. he prefers not to take a lot of things with mm -hmm. him. And I think that makes sense because you have to travel light. But he, Snufkin also has this philosophy of um, like uh, not to get too attached to things, I think. Like his philosophy is that if you see something that you really like, you need to enjoy it the way you see it and not necessarily bring it with you. So. And he's also not afraid to stand up for his friends. Yeah, that's very true. As we can see here, he just like he doesn't think of the consequences in this case, really. He just blocks out the signs. Yeah. Better go find some rules to uphold somewhere. Please do, sir. I guess there's no more rules around here. No more rules. Not expecting you to be here. <laughs> I like this stealthy snow. <laughs> He just hides behind the bush. If I remove the rules, the police officers leave. Mm. Hmm. Let's have a look. Let's get rid of the rest of the park then. Let's do it. No more fences. Mm -hmm. Nobody welcomes that in Moving Valley. No more tiles. <laughs> and uh, the nature is it restored. This is how we bring back harmony. Because in the end... Yeah. What you've all seen now is what the core of the game is about. That there's something off in yeah. Moomin Valley that shouldn't be here. Yeah. And it should be natural. It should be wild. It should be free to exist as it is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And um, I just wanted to mention that when I saw that little cutscene right now, I noticed the butterflies <laughs> that I wouldn't normally notice as much. <laughs> and I'm like, please don't get spider there. Please don't get spider. Yeah, yeah. But they're mm. friends. Yeah, they're friends. They're, they're friends. friends. Just hanging out. Another hideous park blocking my way. No sniffing. <laughs> How can you not sniff? No tea drinking. It's just really nice when you are in in the forest, for example, and you're like kind of inhaling all those wonderful smells of the forest. It just feels amazing. All right, we removed all the signs. Um, we should look for a key. Mm. Mm, let's we have a look, look if we can find one. Like even the concept of something being closed in, in the nature in Moomin Valley is already like baffling. Yeah, but it shouldn't be any gates yeah. out in the forest. Oh, this looks like a distressed bird. Very <gasps> distressed. Oh no. We're stuck over here. No. Our poor thing. I'll keep you company. Oh. The small <laughs> creature is just so helpful. It's mm. like best friend yeah. if you think about it. He really looks up to Snufkin because you've yeah. heard a lot about him. Yeah, definitely. But, you know, I always wish he should, they would help at some yeah. point at least. That makes mm -hmm. sense. So here we have some rocks, I guess. Let me see. Snufkin is so strong. Like, this rock is like <laughs> half the size at least. And he still manages to, pull, to push it and pull oh, and nice. carry somehow. Oh, that's so much much this is a place where in the development mm -hmm. of the game we had a few funny I bugs we need one more. yeah yeah what kind of bugs especially when these ducklings are supposed to follow you around yeah they ended up running a lot <laughs> oh i see <laughs> i mean they're quite quite a fast bunch i yeah. guess so uh -huh. i just wanted to have a look at the quest, because the yeah. quest guys updates every time that when you are doing something or interacting with it with, in any way. So let's see, those baby birds. So we need to return them to the mother. Mm. I think it was. 
I mean, it's so cute. They're just <laughs> standing. It doesn't look that scared if you look at it. It just looks a it's little bit... It's just chilling. Yeah, it just looks a little yeah. bit lonely, like wondering where where the mom went to. I really, again, into yeah. the details, I really enjoy it. Do you see, like, the reflections in the water? Oh, that's right. I've it's never actually... watercolor kind of effect to it. I've never actually noticed them before, until you mentioned. But, yeah, there is, like, you can see even some depths. You no. want me to hold this one? Yeah. And you want me to continue running around yeah. a little bit? Why yeah. Not? I see you can you really like those ducklings, so uh, let's see. Me 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 <laughs> like the sound that they make are so it's so cute. Like like do you see it jumping? To it? Do you see the jumping? <laughs> let's let's do the jumping okay. again. Oh. It makes that sound every time it jumps. Like I wonder which member of of the development here <laughs> was behind this cutest sound in the world. I think we've been playing around a little bit mm -hmm. more. I think it just wants to go back to their mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like we got really inspired. Yeah, that's right. Reunited with oh. the mother. Nice. Hmm. Maybe there are more around because she still looks quite worried, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see. There is a path here. Can we go up here? Not really, no. Yeah, I wonder where the rest are hiding. I think... Oh! This teaches us another thing. That not only can you be pushing stuff, you can actually be pulling them mm, as well. That's really convenient. Oh. oh, there is one. <laughs> I hope it's okay though, because it was like below the log. I think so. so. It says pit. <laughs> <laughs> that means it must be happy. It must be, it really, must be really happy. Look at it. It's just following. <laughs> I could just watch 10 hours yeah. of that. <laughs> just him doing it's the so pit. enjoyable. Let's yeah. see what's over here. Oh, there is another there one. There is another one. Can we... Oh, we can't really make... But maybe if we... Yeah. We need one of these. You need one of these. Let's look mm -hmm. who I have here. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the Grog! Oh, no. The Grog is coming! No. <laughs> that is so terrifying. And do you feel the cold embrace oh. yet, Pontus? <laughs> I feel like... I feel like she really just wants some warmth. She's actually one of my favorite characters because... Like, she's very interesting in the way that she looks scary. She's like giant and she has this cold embrace that everybody is terrified of. But in reality, she just wants some company and yeah. she's just lonely. And she's not the one to blame that she has that cold embrace. And she just, you know, wants to find some friends. So in yeah. that sense, Croak is a really cool character, I think. So, yeah. She actually came to scare you, but then she changed her mind. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm happy for that. I'm quite scared. Y are you scared? Especially from the Grok. If yeah. any one of you who's watching watched the 90s animated series. Oh, yeah, you know that one. The Grok. That mm -hmm. one was something else for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted to put some focus on the place we are right now because one of the things in the game mm -hmm. that we have been spending a lot of time on is really for you to be traveling into this calm, cozy place. So you have these spots, these gazing spots around the Moomin Valley. Yeah. Where you can just interact, enjoy. Yeah, when you can just pause. Yeah. I mean, how often do you really have a chance like that in your really life to just pause and just enjoy something very simple like such as the and view of the nature, for example. And in this case, it's almost like a painting come to life. Yeah, definitely. You can see like these tiny waves. And you can hear it. You hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. Like, to the point that I almost want to go quiet and just... It's so nice. And just let it stay, yeah. And there is the fish jumping from time to time. And 
you will be able to find multiple spots like this, not just this one. So it's a really nice little take a step back. Mm. I usually when I play and I have a cup of tea or another hot beverage, then take the moment to just sit back, relax and kind of drink at yeah. those spots. Yeah. Yeah, I can really see what you mean. And like, it's funny because you were explaining this uh, moment of meditation and tranquility almost, and this little creature was still being like, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. But yeah, I totally agree with you. Yeah. And I think it kind of matches what we mentioned before as well, which is that this game was made with the storybooks in mind. And sometimes when you open a storybook, there is no text, there is just a large image or like a picture that you just watch, you know, on both sides of the of the sheets. So yeah. that's something similar to that. So we came back with the rest of the ducklings mm -hmm. and our small creature friend just heard the mom here do a lot of TT yeah. sounds and is being quite moved by that. It's a very cute sound. Maybe that could be the creature's name. I mean, why not if they like it? That makes me so happy. <sighs> Almost too happy. Hmm. Hmm. How about Titi Wu? A happy start with a sad tale. To balance it out. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Titi Wu, happy, sad, and beautiful. Like life itself. <sighs> That's very true. That is very <laughs> true. I love it. He who met Snufkin. Well, technically, he could be Titi Wu, he who met Snufkin, but this is a bit too long. My own bailing being with my own responsibilities. So many mm. responsibilities. Better get to them. Mm -hmm. We found the key. We found the key. Let's I'll be needing a mailbox <laughs> for my bills. Oh, that kind of responsibility. <laughs> Let's see, we made it to another one here. Yeah. What is this? Oh. oh, shoot. It's another park. Uh, and we can see here we have eight signs to remove. Yeah. You can see the counter in the bottom left mm. corner. Mm. Oh, let's see. Let's see. If let's see how sneak. good Pontus yeah. is in, uh, in stealth. <laughs> Oh, nice, oh, nice, oh, nice. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was so close. That Come was on. really okay, close. Okay, so we can stay here. I can, I can probably make it. No, oh, no, oh. No. Oh. No. No. no, no, you no. got, you got caught, Pontus. Oh. I don't want to see you mm. here again. That was not a pro move. <laughs> that was not a pro move. Mm, let's try again. Let's try again. As you can see, they really don't like us sneaking around. Maybe yeah. we can do another. Maybe we make it. Oh, there is another mm -hmm. one. Wait, is that a statue of, of the barkeeper? He surely doesn't like himself. Nope. I don't like that. No, no me neither. No. Well, let's move that around. Mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's so close. So close. But I think we can we can make it now. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And I like how like the hat you can kind of see the hat from the bush. <laughs> That's so cute. And Let's this see. time with the flowers as well. Just peeks out. Okay, can we? This is a little bit. But there is a statue jump. Oh, we can take that one. Mm -hmm. Be gone, statue. Be gone. Nobody wants you here. It's a little bit weird that the park keeper puts statues of himself everywhere. Yeah, like what kind of Moomin Valley is that? It's like park keeper valley yeah. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Why would he even do that? Let's see. We have some more spaces to be. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Mm hmm. Do we want to play for it? We can do that. Oh wait, I need to stand here. Let's play for it. <gasps> I like the singing though. Yeah. It's very cute. Not the park keeper, just. or the police officer wants to. Sort of and if you that. remember, what I noticed actually for the first time now that we are playing it is that Ooh. like there was that one bird on the top of the tree and you just climbed up the tree and you just played the song for it. And it's also, I think, one of those little moments when you just do things, you know, for the nature. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little bit tricky, yeah. actually. I know, I know. It's a little bit tricky. 
but mm. I think we got I think we got it. Mm. We need to pull all these signs out. I don't yes. like them at all. No. Okay, we got Moment it. We got belly. it. Let's nice, run. nice. Okay, what's going on over here? Let's see. There's another here. Mm. Oh, he's guarding the key. Ooh, I think it's the key from the exit or so. Because oh, it's, it, it's, I think it's right on the left. Let's see if we can uh, make it. Uh, oh. We can grab that one. We can grab that one right. and open the door. But maybe we can okay. put it here. To save it for now, for Sa future. We're saving it. Let's Very send cool. it again because I don't like this sign. No more no touching signs. Mm -hmm. Okay. We made it. Mm. Yeah, nice. Okay. Uh, this is a bit tricky. Can we send it? Oh no. Maybe if we send it to him. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Because I think quick. it could. You have to be quick. I thought that like at first that you need to do them one by one, oh. but then uh, no. I think obviously your solution was more efficient. But also, did you notice that he was actually looking around? They are looking for you once yeah. you start doing things, yeah. Once once the bird, like, did you guys notice that once the bird started oh. moving around the police <gasps> officer? No, 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 oh, no, 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 Can we maybe... Oh, nice. <gasps> you did it. Oh, my God. No, he I got busted mm -hmm. here quite a few times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so going back to to what i was saying that the police officers they start looking for you once the bird gets away super fast so that's something to keep in mind i guess oh, we can run down here okay let's let's move this off yeah i see more signs i see one more and it looks time like to it's destroy the sign oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go Yay! Awesome. And the valley is beautiful again, and the butterflies are happy <laughs> because they haven't met a spider. They haven't met a spider. <laughs> All right, look at this. It's so nice now. Oh, it's so pretty. And there is another birdie. There's another birdie. What can. Oh, that birdie can. Um, to collect some inspiration, yeah. I guess. Oh, it was flying, flying away. Oh. Perfect. Nice. Let's see where this road leads, I guess. What is going on here? I wonder who we are going to encounter on the way. There's so much you can do here. Just walking Ooh, around. Look, there is another creature here. Oh, it's a worm. Who is this? And it's so cute. <laughs> it looks like a worm, at least. Yeah. It's a little bit wiggly as well. Yeah, look yeah, at yeah. this. <laughs> I like the um, the hearts around yeah. them. Like it makes it very cute and cozy as well. Let's see. Okay, we can mm. run over here. So it's a little bit more of the wilderness, I guess. Mm -hmm. Still the wilderness part. Mm. Maybe we can make it up here. Oh, there's another one. There is another. Oh, they, it's so nice of them to just help out, yeah. you know, because they see there is a traveler and they're like, oh, it's time to help Snufkin. That's nice. Oh, there's more. Uh -huh. Okay, so if I... I think it should go to the other side. Yeah. Of the oh, all oh, right. And then you can like place it there. Yeah. And then, and then you, then you just jump. Oh, that's so smart. Oh, nice. And then we can kind of push this. Oh, look at that. What do we have up there? Yeah, I have no idea. What was this jiggling? Like, it looks like there is actually someone there. There's someone there? And I think music changed. It did. Did you guys hear that? The music changed. Oh. It's Moomin Mama. <laughs> oh. Oh, look. Oh, Snufkin, dear. I, I'm, I'm very good at making yeah. distressed voices. <laughs> Hello, Snufkin, dear. I just woke up from my winter slumber. For you who don't know, all the Moomin trolls in the Moomin family, they go to sleep throughout mm -hmm. winter. So they yep. wake up in the spring. And that's what Moomin Mama just had. 
Yeah, that's right. And that's also part of the reasons why Snufkin le leaves for winter. It's because Moomin's, well, they are going to their slumber, so there's nothing really for him mm. to do there. But he comes back to see them once they are awake. How are you, Moomin Mom? Oh, Snufkin looks so mm. happy. <laughs> mm. Oh, no. Oh, the, tr the flowers are dried out. Go see your friend now. See. Oh, I, I, I really don't like seeing her mm. in such a distress. And that unlocks a very important thing. Yeah. We are able to now see. Oh my the god, Moomin it's Valley. so pretty. It is so pretty. It's so beautiful. So we made it through the wild country. Yeah. And we actually made it into Moomin Valley. Yeah. So now, guys, you can see it that the Nordic wilderness part is more or less over, this part at least, at this stage. And you can see this beautiful map with the entirety of Moomin Valley. And uh, I really like this bouncing little hat <laughs> at the bottom that indicates that this is you, Snufkin. Yeah. And uh, where you need to go, which is the bridge where you usually meet the Moomin troll. But we will leave this wonderful experience or adventure of meeting your friend Moomin troll for you. So, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure with me and Pontus. If you have any further questions, please let us know um, on social media, on Discord, or any other community channels. We would be really happy uh, to see you there. And just to remind you, the game is out now in its entirety. It's fully out now. You can play it, you can enjoy it today on Steam and Nintendo Switch. So, please check it out. Uh, we also have multiple editions. We have a standard edition and deluxe edition, right? Exactly. And in the deluxe edition, you will not only get the cherished keepsakes, the flowers to the hat and yeah. the wooden mouthpiece, you will also get access to the digital art book and the original soundtrack. Yeah, so can you imagine you're going to see the actual original art from the game as well as the music in produced together with Sigurós, yeah. one of the major Icelandic bands. So the well. composer for the game, Oda Tilset, has together with Sigurós made a series of wonderful tracks for this yeah. game. So it's a great chance to check them out. So check out this, our Steam pages and Nintendo pages of your region, of your specific eShop to see both editions there and we really really hope that you will leave us some reviews because as mentioned before we really value your feedback and it's always great to see you guys our community you inspire us very much and you motivate us to continue working on this wonderful title so and yeah <laughs> from the very bottom of everyone at raw fury and hyper, hyper games. games thank you so much for being part of this adventure and this journey across all of these years. Yes. And we finally made it here. Thank you so much for being with us. And we really hope to see you out there on the spaces of the web, but also uh, see how that goes and how it continues. We also like to thank Moomin characters for their immense help on the development of this project. So have a lovely day, guys, or evening, depending on where you are. We really hope you will enjoy the game. And like I said, see you out there. Enjoy your travels. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>